guys so today we will learn how to incorporate these uh, nuts and bolts meshes into the game how to spawn these health orbs which actually replenish the health of our player if I manage to break it there we go as you can see just jumps from this thing and comes to the player and yeah that's basically it so one thing one more thing so if we grab this thing and like move it up here basically back there so it doesn't cause any fracture to our bombs and I do that and they break so there we go I can like shoot from my flamethrower and I will now just pick them up like the bolts so let's get into it uh, the first thing let's check out the actual ammo crate so weapon ammo right there our standard thing right here so on the event graph it's actually the same exact thing that we do but with two extra checks this is the, this is the whole uh, bolt thingy, but down there uh, To see the animation started there's an end node and we just Do the check that we were previously doing up here When we add the actual ammo to the player we just check if the uh, Weapon ammo weapon instance is contained in our player roster and also if the weapon hasn't got full ammo now the same thing happens up there till we just proceed to the actual animation so because the animation could start but the player uh, may pick up a different ammo crate so we are just doing the check as well right there and if it fails we set the time to zero animation start to false physics enabled and collision enabled on our ammo crate thingy right there so yeah that's basically it now on the actual bolts, I've added a construction script. Now, first I imported uh, some meshes. Uh, this bolt, simple one. Uh, this nut, very simple as well. And this helix, as you can see, fairly simple as well. So, you can find them in the link on the forum post. So. Yeah, on our bolt construction script, the event graph is like the same thing like the previous tutorial, but on our construction script, I do a couple of different stuff. So, we add a random mesh. So, I got this bolt mesh right there, static mesh component. And on our construction script, we do two switches on int. So, the first would be from zero to three randomly. And we just set the static mesh to the bolt, the helix, or the nut. Then we go ahead on the second one and do it with two inch. And we set the material on either the metal brushed nickel or the metal copper. These are included in the engine, so you don't have to make anything yourself. Just like you can do this anything you want, basically. And on the final pin, we just calculate a random rotation from 0 to 180 degrees because if we did more or less it will be useless so that's basically it so you can see right there I can grab a nut now and just move it around and it will change colors shapes and orientations but they're not meant to be done this way so they're meant to just be spawned and it will be done randomly that's why it looks crap because we had played them by hand so yeah that's some insight on that now on our third person character I added a new check for uh, the loading on the load main save on the end of the actual setting of the variables from the save file I check if the current level name is equal to the saved level name and if it is I proceed to set the transform if not I just let the actual level and the level blueprint to set the transform of the player because we don't want to transfer our location to a different level 
from a random level because we may spawn and void and die so yeah and also I added the heal function which takes a, a health amount parameter adds it to a current health clamps it and then just updates the gameplay UI widget accordingly now on to our actual health crate which is the focus of this video so if you go over on our health crate I, uh, you see I had an arrow, this is the actual spawning location of the health, of the health orb right there, which I'm going to talk about later. So, we've got this orb, alright, and we want to spawn in inside, keep them welded together, attached, or just make the case orb follow the location of the actual arrow. So, and then when this component gets fractured, we want to like release the orb and make it uh, be able to be dragged to the player so just because uh, this body has got simplified collisions just outside and not inside like two sided and stuff we can't uh, spawn a physics component inside because it will be bouncy and will fuck up the whole physics this may get launched in the air and stuff so we do a different thing we spawn the orb inside the arrow with disabled collisions and we'll spawn ignoring collisions just because the orb hasn't got collisions and we just store the reference. So you can see here I've exposed a variable called crate parent, which is the the actual this actor, so just called self and set as parameter. Remember that for later. And on the fracture we just detach the caged orb from the actor. I don't think it's needed anymore, but just like to have it right there as a actual reference to what's uh, already happening because I had changed the mechanics in the beginning, so and I changed them again now. But this remained there. It's kind of the self-documenting code, but who cares? It's not actually doing any harm. And let, then we set the case up to free and we destroy in after a delay. Now this is actually going to enable the orb to just follow the character so it's pickable it's not inside the crate so on our actual hair orb just this the material very simple emissive color setup surface opaque so yeah that's basically it and then on our actual health or backdoor the same setup as the nut and the weapon ammo because we want it to be pickable and it has the same logic for for pickable so we just set the amplitude right there and for example animate right there and all this good stuff but there are also two extra checks here and an extra thing right there so for example like the weapon ammo we want the player to be able to actually get ammo on its weapon so I added this macro relatively called can get HP so it gets an input of the player and checks if he can get actual HP so if his HP is not max he can like pick up the orb so that's basically the check the extra check right down there and the extra check right up here like the weapon ammo and we do the exact same stuff with simulate physics collision animation start and time parameter there but I also got a custom event that may we may use in the future for example it's called uh, cage broken so when are the cage breaks we may want to call it remotely if we just try to fracture this thing uh, in a weird way we may use it in the future we may not let's get it out of the way and the last thing is why I expose this crate parent variable on spawn so we're gonna like pass it on a parameter the thing I called you to remember so if this thing isn't free just because the orb has no collision enabled we want a way to keep it uh, welded to our target so we can't make it a physics body just because uh, it will fuck up the whole physics as I talked about earlier so we just do it manually and set the actor's uh, location to be to match the arrow's location so regardless of how much the box moves the orb stays it with it so and because I've uh, ticked simulate physics to none right there. I also 
need to enable it but yeah I don't remember where I put that you also need to enable it when you, these animation starts because we don't want that to fall into the ground or something or you could do the thing that I prefer and just set the constraints to X, Y and Z and also just delete that because we want to keep the constraint actually and this uh, take a look at it so let's break this Come on. You know what? Basically, I'm going to spawn more and just make him fall on the ground because I want to demonstrate something that they stay in the exact same place if the player uh, does not have uh, some HP. So, yeah, yeah, going down, broken, so let's break them as well. As you can see, I need to break this one because we've got full HP. Come on, break yourself, bitch. There you go. Just stays in the same place due to the constraint so it doesn't it's like it floats but without physics so we don't care just a health orb it's spiritual it's not like an actual real thing so yeah that's thing ignore these errors these are detour uh boxes of uh dynamite right there so they don't affect anything and be sure to visit the forum post and check the drive link for the downloads and See you next time.